YouTube videos. The worst they can find. La la la. Is that in modern Hindu language, the word Vimad means aircraft. It resembles a cloud of light in the sky. The text also enumerates 16 kinds of metal that are needed to construct the flying vehicle, but only three of them are known to us today. The rest remain untranslatable. The Vimana is used a proportion system based on a combination of gyroscopes, electricity, and mercury. Inside, one must put the mercury engine with its siren heating apparatus on the mercury? By means of like, a power latent to mercury vapor jet. The driving whirlwind in a propeller. A man sitting inside may travel a great distance in the sky. As Alexander's army was getting ready to cross the Indus and invade India, suddenly in the sky appeared these flying discs. And they began dive bombing at the war elephants. He says, well, we're tracking an aircraft here at 3,400 miles an hour. And I said, well, there is something wrong. So one night I was on the plot board, this was maybe three or four months later, and here comes this contact. And the second blip, yeah, you could see that this thing was moving. It was moving like three or four inches on a 360 mile scale. And so sure enough, I plotted it and it was 300, I mean, 3,400 miles an hour. And uh, again, we didn't report it, but they said they didn't know what they were. They thought they were German secret weapons at first. So they called them Foo Fighters. On my own radar, I started picking up items going 3,000, 4,000 miles an hour in this area. I had pencil beam radars which locked on a target. And the boy told me about three or four thousand miles an hour, quick acceleration, they break a lock. And that was one of the best radars we had during the time. So every time that would happen, once I notified the ICO, they said, well, forget it, we're not interested. So I figured I won't tell them anything anymore. About a week later, and put me in charge of it. There I started getting the tosser reports. I started getting other crash reports, the artifacts I got. And by that time, I had established, and I had visited the site here, but then when I came to research and develop, which was 14 years later by the way, I inherited all these artifacts and I inherited the reports at the top. So there I started getting indication, proof that a crash really happened here. Of course then I kept it the class for 35 years I had. They say I had the evidence that a crash did happen here. And yet we stood back like fools and said it didn't exist, it was a weather balloon. They didn't think it was a water balloon. Countries in Europe are taking this very serious. They're not like us here. They're not going to put out stories that tell the dummies came out of the air or people with big heads. Those people are a little more serious about this than we are. And yet, the American people can't be told that there's possibly craft out here from another era, another person who had been pilot. He began telling the story, and he basically said, one day I was up. I was up in one of the, uh, the, the faster airplanes that we had. And I had something that was a spherical object that, that was ahead of me. And I called back and I said, "Are there any? Are there any friendlies over here?" And he uh, he said, "They said, well, no, there's no friendlies here." So not only that, but he's accelerating away from them. me. And he's talking like, about himself. Airplane that's been designed. And, Where therefore, that time was and therefore, it can't be one of us. Well, he, he said, "Well, they said, well, you have the, well, you have the." You have the weapon on board. It was a new design. Oh. And he said, go on ahead and shoot it down. And so he did. He shot down the Roswell craft. Do you know who did it? He said, don't tell, I didn't, don't give the people my name, nor, nor, nor give you them, know nor him. Him. <laughs> he, he shot it down. He's, he's a very dear, the, the doc. With the, what kind of a the weapon? Doc, the doctor is a very dear friend of mine. What, what kind of a weapon? I don't know. Then the individual said that he went and landed at a nearby airport, went over and went and walked into the craft. Evidently, one of them was out walking around because there were only three when he was in. Three aliens at that time? And he walked in and they were all four feet under. But he could see through the walls of the craft from the inside. Oh, like tinted windows? Tinted windows? My name is Don Phillips and I live in Los Angeles. California. And I, was I knew this guy.
I may. Contrary to popular belief, you will grow up. He told me that. I remember this guy. It's a good thing to tell a kid. I was born in Los Angeles, California. He is legit. And I have worked with government-sponsored agencies, as well as uh, spent my uh, appropriate time in the military, and as a civilian, but also as a uh, military uh, person, I did have experiences with what we would refer to as unidentified flying objects. The question that there is advanced, advanced, we, we, some people call them advanced races. Well, the knowledge that I have of these uh, technologies uh, coming with the aircraft or the craft that were captured here. I didn't see the craft, nor did I see the bodies, but I certainly know some of the people that did. And of course, they're much, you know, they're passed on now uh, from the earthly bodies, but there was no question uh, that there are people, or, and they didn't get into the context but it certainly did verify that they haven't been here for just a, a few years, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of years. And this was written in the text. Getting hey, back to weren't the there like uh, hieroglyphics on the uh, stuff in Roswell? Was that Sanskrit? Technology that we might have used, uh, the chips, the lasers, the night vision, uh, the what we call bulletproof vests, uh, and, and a few others, uh, these were all used, uh, these were all developed. The chips, what they call the central processing units, uh, were developed in great strides. Now, why did that happen? Why you put a few things together and do a bit of research, you think, wow, boy, we did benefit. And in, a t in several talks, these people uh, it wasn't because they were necessarily sharing the technology, it's because we picked it up and put it into a what's called the file cabinet. And we ascertain, like, oh, are these people safe? Are these people that have come in uh, out from outside, are they, are they hostile? Well, if they were hostile, uh, I, my own knowledge is and, and feeling, I don't know about all of them, is that we could have been... Uh, with their weaponry, as it might be used, uh, could have destroyed us a long time ago, or it could have done some damage. The Indian texts speak of so many scientific principles hidden in them, we don't know how they did it or why. There's no mention anywhere where the rubble was disposed. Except of carving 100 caves into a mountain is extreme, yes. It's a colossal project and there's Hello. zero quarry material anywhere to be found. If we travel a little farther afield to the nearby Ajanta caves, often associated with Alora, the geology is the answer. Geology is very important. Those are the clues. That is a basalt flow. The holes that are carved in to the lowest level of that gray, the dark gray, that's the bottom level of a basalt flow. Hmm, what heavy mineral do you mine the ore for out of uh, the lower level of a basalt flow? And if you mine it, of course, the rubble's not going to be there because you're going to smelt it down into some uranium. You know, fallout, mercury, spring, you know, poisonous machine that you didn't want to fly because you're dying. But yeah, if you mine it, cool. The geology, the Roswell actually has geology with a site where it crashed. The ground is literally depressed and the surface of the earth is crushed where something impacted. So yeah, the geology says something crashed. Their descriptions were little handsome men. They look like Sicilians that spoke proper English. Uh, well, do Sicilians and people from India look alike? And are there people in India that speak with English accents that are of Indian descent? Like, yeah? Don't forget to click the channel icon and subscribe. Thank you.
la 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 YouTube videos the worst they can find la 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 if you believe in Vimanas now you know if you, you believe sane. in Vimanas now you know you are sane